America's southern border remains wide open, and although the left may not want to call it a crisis, the influx of migrants continues to overwhelm our Border Patrol and ICE officials. The Biden administration's decision to remove Title 42 is expected to compound the issue, but thankfully we have some patriots left in office that are fighting back. At least 21 states have now announced that they plan on suing the Biden administration to prevent the order from being lifted. Last night, Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt, who stayed as among those who've signed on to the suit, tweeted, Today we filed a motion for a preliminary injunction in our lawsuit against the Biden administration for their cancellation of Title 42, which is a critical tool for border security. Joining me now to discuss is Missouri Attorney General and candidate for United States Senate, Eric Schmidt. Attorney General Schmidt, thanks for being here. Great to be with you, Buck. Let's just start with what, what happens with, when Title 42 goes away to your state? I mean, you're not near the border, but it does kind of feel like every state's a border state under the Biden regime. That's exactly right. I mean, every state's a border state. The problems, the illegal activity, the drugs, the human trafficking, it doesn't stop in El Paso. It doesn't stop in McAllen, Texas. It finds its way to St. Louis and Kansas City and Columbus, Ohio and Baltimore, Denver, everywhere. The cartels are running the show down there, Buck. I've been to the border twice. Uh, there's $100 million a week, one, border, one uh, law enforcement official told us, in human smuggling alone. That doesn't include the drugs. That doesn't include, you know, the fentanyl that's being dumped in our communities, killing people at a clip that we've never seen before. It's a leading cause of death now, those overdoses for 18 to 40 years old. So it's a mess. We've seen waves and waves of illegal immigration under the Biden administration. I mean, this is going to be a tidal wave. This is going to be a tsunami because he's, a, you know, attempting to do this at a time where you would see a seasonal surge anyway. So without Title 42, which accounts for about 50% of the expulsions, it's going to be a mess. You add that on top of the uh, uh, paying contractors to actually not construct the border wall. Missouri and Texas have filed suit on that. Also, the Remain in Mexico policy, which we've won at the Supreme Court on President Trump's policy that made Mexico the waiting room. Biden reversed that and just released pe people into the interior of the United States waiting for the asylum, their asylum claims never be seen again. Um, we've sued on that. We've won, gone back to lower courts. We're fighting with them to get implemented. That'll be in, in back in front of the Supreme Court later this month. So there's a lot going on, but Title 42 is a very effective measure of expel, expelling illegal uh, immigrants as they come here. And that, you know, according to Joe Biden, he wants it to go away. By the way, you're not the only one uh, who is concerned about this. In fact, there are Democrat senators who are concerned about this. You've got statements from senators like the following Cinema of Arizona, Democrat, the decision to announce an end to Title 42, despite not yet having a comprehensive plan ready, shows a lack of understanding about the crisis at our border. Senator Hassan of New Hampshire uh, said that ending Title 42 prematurely will likely lead to a migrant surge that the administration does not appear to be ready for. I mean, that, that seems apparent right now, Attorney General Schmidt, but what do you think the Biden administration is gonna do? I mean, e even Democrats are saying, there's gonna be a lot more people coming into the country illegally when Title 42 ends. So what's the plan? Is there any plan? Well, I think from a political perspective, hopefully there's enough pushback from members of his own party to reconsider this. From a legal perspective, we're gonna do everything we can uh, to block it before that you know, May date in which they intend to lift the Title 42 uh, restrictions that again, were very effective under President Trump. Just a year and a half ago under President Trump, we had a secure border. Now you see, you know, seven to 8,000 people uh, a day coming across illegally, that number likely would surge to 18,000, that's 500,000 a month. If you put it in context, if you were to extrapolate out over Biden's four-year term, um, that is 30 million people coming here illegal, illegally. That is the size of Texas. That is five Missouris. And so I don't think we're having traditional political debates in this country right now, Buck. The Democrats want to pack the Supreme Court. They want to add states to the union. They want to federalize elections. They want to fundamentally change this country forever. This is another piece to it. So it's up to us in our system of federalism as states to push back and now's the time. Don't miss American Scandal, Hunter Biden. A new First TV exclusive special hosted by Buck Sexton. Available right now, only on the First TV app.